You've already touched upon my question this morning in parts of it, but I'm going to ask uh, if you would like to make any more specific suggestions. I've come to a point where I'm very clear that I have worked most of my life as a photographer and I have not been financially successful. And I'm very clear at this point in my life how I created that, how I have sabotaged myself. And now as I try to move forward, are there suggestions or comments that you would, you would like to share with me? Well, you're wanting to leave 50% of those statements out of the equation. I am a photographer and I have not been financially successful. I am a photographer and I have not been financially successful. I am a photographer and I have not been financially successful. So as you say that now, your future, I am a photographer and I have not been financially successful. We know it sounds simplistic, but if you could just begin saying, I am a photographer. I am a photographer. And leave out mm -hmm. the part that you don't want to put in. <laughs> you don't even have to say, I am a photographer and I'm infinitely successful. You just have to stop saying you're not financially successful. You see what we're getting at? Now, we know that sounds very simple and it really does take more than saying a few words in order to change your vibration. It takes reaching for thoughts that cause you to feel differently. In other words, were you doing other things where you had financial success? I have done other things where I've been more successful, yes. And what do you think is the difference? What caused you to expect financial success with the other things you were doing? And what keeps you from expecting financial success through photography? I mean, past belief structures. But what are they? In other words... Um, you know, the, um, the Neil Donald Walsh God material talks about how uh, we... I mean, I guess there's feelings about money and there's feelings about doing things. You know, somewhere it was programmed into me. I don't want to say like I'm blaming anybody, but somewhere it was programmed into me that you shouldn't be compensated well for things that you enjoy doing. That money should only come when you do things that you don't want to do? Mm -hmm. Well, we have to say to you, not very much money ever comes to you when you're doing things you don't want to do. So in terms of the success that you're really reaching for, are you saying to us that you found something that you really didn't want to do, that you expected money to come to you from, and plenty of money came from doing this thing that you did not want to do? Maybe not plenty, but more than I was experiencing. And can from... you feel then that there was a different expectation? Mm -hmm. Expectation is a powerful thing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Expectation is a focus with a vibration that permits the receiving of what you're focused upon. And you expect things wanted and unwanted. So you think it's the starving artist syndrome or do you think it's the I shouldn't be compensated for things that I'm gifted with syndrome or do you think it is one should work really hard and suffer and struggle for any value all of those <laughs> well get over it <laughs> we want to start at the very base level of understanding by reminding you that you cannot have a happy ending to an unhappy journey and that vibrationally speaking if you are really not wanting to do something that there is resistance there and we think a part of you knows that and that's what caused you to reach for a vocation that is more pleasing to you and you don't have as much cleaning up of vibration as you might think that you do in other words we can feel that mm -hmm. you are clearer about who you are and what you are wanting than you have ever been I've so tremendous progress in the last nine months so we would say to you just be very light and easy about it and when you catch yourself repeating the old stuff beating the drum of it just stop and laugh and say there I go again I'm dragging this expectation with me that no longer applies and my new expectation is that if it feels good that it is and that I am a worthy being and that good things are supposed to flow to me and that there are so many people around this planet that I could find and get to know if I wanted to make the effort who have 
followed their bliss and have found avenues that are very pleasing to them where they are having enormous financial success. Just keep reminding yourself that well-being feels good. And then focus upon the parts of your life that are working. And now, here we're going to give to you the thing that we would do if we were standing in your precise physical shoes. We would make peace with where we are. And here's what we mean by that. So from where you are, you've lived all kinds of things and you've launched all kinds of rockets of desire. And there are all kinds of things that are focalized out there in your future that you're going to walk into and begin experiencing. And today, you are continuing to add to those. So your future is changing by the way you view life today. There's power, tremendous power in the way you feel today. So as your future, which has always been full of well-being, becomes even more pointedly full of well-being, your work is to allow yourself to rendezvous with the future probabilities that suit your now expectation. Now hear this. We're moving into new territory and we think you're really going to like it. When you were unhappy, you launched rockets into your future. When you were very happy, you launched rockets into your future. There are many probabilities that have your name on them that are out there bubbling in the future. How you feel now determines which of those probabilities you rendezvous with. Good, isn't it? And it's not your responsibility, nor is it possible to live them all. In other words, you launched them. They are potential, probable life experiences. So now you work on feeling good as best you can. Now, we talked about this already today in two or three different perspectives, but we'll give it to you specifically here. You know how we said, make a decision and then line up with the decision. So as you, in your now, work to appreciate your talent as a photographer, you're lining up with a future probability that you've launched that has been growing even apart from you that's really going to please you as you rendezvous with it. As you make peace with your current financial situation, of course, understanding that it could be more, but no longer criticizing you because it isn't more right now. Instead, seeing it as part of the path along the way and loving yourself for all that it has brought you and appreciating all this pointed, focused stuff. Remember how Esther says, I shine in a crisis, and we say, yes, because the crisis makes you focus? Well, your lack of money that is wanted is making you focus too, you see. So as you bless this combination of thoughts that is you and stop condemning or feeling bad for what you didn't accomplish and instead just love what you have accomplished, you do so much about the allowing part of the equation. You do so much about letting in what you've been asking for. And now immediately, those future probabilities that line up with what you are now saying you want begin to become activated and actualized and they start moving toward you. If you were from our vantage point and you could see an aerial view of that, you would see that it has begun already. So no reason to ever feel bad about where you are if you stop making a relationship between where you are and where others are. If your only awareness is your relationship between where you are and where you want to be, or better said, how you feel and how you want to feel. If you will make it an emotional journey. In other words, now we want to put it into that context. We want you to not have as much money as you'd like and feel hopeful rather than not have as much money as you'd like and feel embarrassed. Feel the difference? We'd like you to not have as much money as you'd like and feel optimistic rather than not have as much money as you'd like and feel pessimistic. Because you can't, in a moment, change how much money you've got. But you can, in a moment, change whether you're pessimistic or optimistic. And if you work on optimistic, what happens is you start lining up with different future probabilities. You got that, didn't you? Yes. Excellent. Thank you. Yes, indeed.